Hello viewers, welcome to this mod Excel guys. This is the continuation of my previous video where I had a slight error, which was uh, not notified, which I didn't notified. It was not notified, but uh, my, one of my subscribers just indicated to me. So I am redoing this video. So the video was about how to add measures and get the right measures and the right answers. So as I showed you, the simple way to insert a, uh, if you want to get a budget amount, natural amount difference, you can get directly in this table. But how to do that by measures and private table is the uh, purpose of making this video and how to get the right answer. So this is based on measures. So if I do a normal one, I can do this private table without using this data model. And uh, I'll be using uh, a new worksheet. So let me remove this, this insert pivot table. So it's selected there. So let me select it, insert a pivot table. So I selected main data column, so you can see it isn't highlighted here. New worksheet. I'm not adding a data model, so you can see there is no measures over here. And if I want to have any fields, as I showed in the previous video, I can get a calculated field. So I want to have a budget minus actual amount. So I'm selecting this uh, budget amount will be selected over here and uh, actual amount. And so if I want a difference, a simple way is just go here, calculate field. And uh, you can see budget amount minus actuals and insert a field. So this will be uh, the difference. So you can get the difference over here. The well, same thing in data model is something out of the box. So I'll be doing insert private table, but here I will be adding this to a data model. So in the previous videos, I showed you how to add in data models. So if I do OK, so now you can see I can add measures. So if I add measures, you can see I can add measure directly from here. Or I can go to measures and add measure from here. So whatever measures I add will be highlighted in the data model. So if I go to manage, so this is my data model, it will be shown here. So the simple way to add measure is if I manage measures and new measure same way, you can see I cannot get a sum function. So I should get a sum function. If I do, if I just create a, if I just create budget amount minus actual amount so if i check this formula this formula doesn't work because measures are based on some calculations so what can we do what should i do is i'm going to show you the step one this is step one just pull this data Just pull this data main category, and now you can see new measure, or I can select from here also add measure. So now you can see the sum function is selected over here. So if I do some budget minus. minus main actual amount and now if we check the now if we check the tax form the formula has no errors so i got the right answer so when i put the data i get the right answer 
so this is one of the way even now if i remove this and remove this also it doesn't affect because once i added automatic system has taken this if you want you can check it from here manage measures and edit so it doesn't really matter now if you remove from that side because already it has been taken so you can have number you separate and all this is one of the ways so the other way around is oh, so you can see it is added away now you can create a kpi also for this so i'll be showing in the forthcoming videos how to create a kpi so this is been added so this is a different now this is a measure if you want you can delete a measure from here also once you delete you can see the measure has gone now you can see manage measures there is no measure it also has been vanished from here so that was the one of the way now even i am going to remove this from the data model i am going to delete this totally and i am going to delete this also so that was the way you have to add pull the data in and one more way is go to insert or you can go to add to data model directly okay before that let me show you so insert our table this already been added to data model so we don't need to add it again so no, it, it has not taken so let's add it again okay insert already it is there in data model so it is already added also so you can see measures same way if you go to measures and measure if some function is not there only you have main and the same thing is going to happen going to show you an error so to avoid this you have to just add this into data we just pull the data and the sum function will be there so that was the one way so other way around is manage data here you have to make a sum for this so how to make sum is go to create auto sum function and here also click on sum function so now we have some function over here so now let's see how this is going to work over here so i already have so if i want to add a measure or i'll add from here new measure so you can see the some function is added minus of actual amount now you can see no error in formula so i'll be making this as some difference So you can see the answer is correct over here in the previous video i got a answer as zero i think we had not checked it properly so again i redo the, did this video so i can rectify that error and uh, this is the now you can see if you want you can have a after you have done the measures manage measures you can see the sum of actual has been here some which has been created there and difference is here so i can delete from here also i can delete from here also and I can delete from here also. If I delete this, I will get an error message over here. But now I got the answers right. You can see the answer is here. So if I delete any one of this, you can see 
ये जरूर हो गया there is an error because that data is based on this two tables so it's giving you an error so let me add this again so now we can see the highlighting is changed and now again i can get the answer and now i can on this basis of this i can create a kpi So this is KPI. So in the following videos, I will be showing you how to use a KPI, and it's uh, it's just like conditional formatting. And the same thing can be done from here also. You can select, select this. Even see, select this. See, it's it's D has selected. But when you have this, you can see you can create KPI. Same goes for this. You can create a KPI, and this also you can get a KPI. So all these measures over here three are connected to here so you can see that manage measures and different sum of all are here you can do it from here also as a schedule you can do it from here also so i hope you found this video useful and uh, yes, um, apologies for the last video which i have not i didn't check properly <laughs> when i got a comment that there is a the answer over here is not uh, it's showing incorrect so I just read it the video. So please uh, give me your valuable comments and please share this video and so that many people can get the answers quickly without getting panicked. So it's all tried and tested. And I hope you like this channel and please subscribe to my channel and uh, happy learning. Keep on watching the smart Excel. Thank you very much.